this is Anandita Paulus and in today's video I want to discuss one of the powerful manifestation tools known as scripting. Now I might have discussed something similar to this in a couple of my other videos based on manifestations as well. In this particular video I will be going into a little bit more detail and the process of scripting the reason of course it is called scripting is because you literally become the script writer for your future for whatever it is that you want to manifest so that is why it's called scripting because you are writing the script for your life so to speak there are a couple of things to keep in mind while scripting and there are two different ways you can go about it and i will be discussing both of them in detail very first thing to keep in mind is of course gratitude you will have to come from a place of gratitude and not neediness neediness never works and by neediness i mean craving wanting something badly because if you have seen my other videos before want equals lack so if you're wanting something badly that equals lack and from a place of lack you can never manifest abundance that's just not how it works in the universe the universe is always delivering to you whatever it is that you are already ready for and you might be thinking now that so does that mean that if i'm poor right now i'm never going to manifest money because if i'm poor then i'm vibrating at that level how am i going to be ready for more money if i don't have it if somebody doesn't give it to me here is the thing the universe or your subconscious mind it doesn't know the difference between when you are visualizing something and feeling something versus when it has actually happened so that is the way you can trick your subconscious mind or the universe to believe that you already have something that you don't even have and for that reason gratitude is very important because when you feel gratitude for something even when you don't have that thing but when you feel gratitude for something as if you already have it then the universe thinks that you are a vibrational match to it and it delivers you more of that so it's always very important to come from a place of gratitude. So always begin your scripting sessions with gratitude, with feeling grateful for whatever it is that you are looking to manifest as if it has already happened. The second thing to keep in mind, and here is where some teachers differ. And I feel like whether you use one technique or the other, it doesn't matter. You can either state or you can either write the scripts in the present or you can write them in the past as if it has already happened. If you're writing it in the present, then you will be using I am. I am manifesting this or I am enjoying a life full of abundance, whatever it is that you want to create. So you will be writing more in terms of I am. If it has already happened, then you could be writing something like, I am so thankful and grateful that such and such has happened and now you know, and then fill in the blanks. How is your life now that whatever it is that you wanted to manifest has already happened and now your life is different because of that. So now you write as if it has already happened. So I personally write it as if it has already happened, but writing it in the present is also equally effective. Whatever works for you. Whatever you feel is engaging more of your emotions. And that is the third thing engaging or involving your emotions in it. If you are writing something which is not getting your emotions active, which is not creating any feelings within you, which is not moving you, then that is not going to be very effective. So whether you write it in the present or you write it in the past, but never write it in the future, don't say that this is coming to me because then it will always be in the future, it will always be coming, but never really there. So that's just a word of caution. Use it to write either for the past or in the present and make sure that whatever it is that you write, whether in the past or in the future and whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it needs to move you emotionally. If emotions are not involved, then it is not working as powerfully as it could. And by moving it emotionally, I mean that it needs to make you feel excited about the future it needs to make you feel enthusiastic it needs to make you feel happy any of those powerful positive emotions 
The fourth thing to keep in mind is to be descriptive. Again, here also there are two different ways of doing it. Some teachers teach you to be as descriptive as possible. Go into the minutest details and see every single detail working out. For instance, if it was a job interview, see yourself exactly what were you wearing, what perfume did you wear, what color of clothing, how were you sitting, how did you feel, how was your voice like, everything, what did you say, what did you hear, what was the expression on the other person's face, every little detail. In certain cases though, certain details are not really available to us. So it might not be very handy to get into so much details. And sometimes we really have no idea how something is going to happen. So in those cases, it might be a great idea to be general. So some teachers teach you to be general, some teachers teach you to be very detailed. Again, it will be situational and it is also a subjective choice. If you love getting into the details and if you already know how the details are going to look like, then that might be an option for you. On the other hand, if getting into the details is just getting you lost in the nitty gritties and then you start worrying, I don't know the details, I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. If you're getting distracted with all of that, then go general. Just think about the bigger picture. How is your life going to be different once that goal is manifested? Or how are you going to be different once that goal manifests? So just think in general terms. How different will your day look like? How different will your schedule look like? How different will you be talking, acting, behaving, reacting? How different will your life and your behavior, your personality? How different is that going to be once that thing that you're trying to manifest has already happened? So you have two options there. Either to go very detailed or to go general. It's your choice. Take a pick. There are really no wrong options here. And lastly, focus on what you want to attract and not what you want to avoid. Sometimes people make a mistake of writing in their scripts things that they want to avoid. Focus on what you want instead. So instead of saying that you want to avoid being fired from a job, focus on being promoted or focus on finding an amazing job instead where you are valued and you never have to worry about being fired. So always keep your focus on the positive, on what is wanted and not on what is unwanted. If you don't like a particular family member or if you want to improve your relationship with a specific family member with whom you're not getting along right now, then always state in what you want. Don't mention that when I meet this person, he or she doesn't get mad. Not like that. Instead, you can write that when I talk to such and such person, they are very open and understanding. They see my point. So something along those lines. Always focus on what is wanted instead of what is unwanted. So those are my six suggestions to keep in mind for scripting. And here's a bonus suggestion. I would suggest that when you start with scripting, take out a fixed time every single day, morning and evening. And it's preferable that you use the same time every single day. If not, that's fine, but twice a day for best results. And it's also suggested that you do it immediately before going to bed and immediately after you wake up the first thing in the morning and the last thing before going to bed. And just get yourself in that place of gratitude and then begin your scripting. And script it as if it has already happened or it is happening in the present right now and you're feeling very grateful for everything that is happening. So I hope this video helps. If there is something in your life that you are trying to manifest and you decide to give scripting a try, I would love to know your results. So share your results in the comments below. And if you have already tried scripting in the past and gotten results, I would love to hear about that as well. So share that with me as well. Also, if creating more abundance and manifesting the things that you desire in your life is something that you are interested in, then check out my Abundance Revolution program. I have that program in digital format as well as in the form of webinars, which I teach once every quarter. So check out the link for that below the video and I'll talk to you soon. And one more thing, if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel and like this video, share it with your friends and family who might find it useful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.